If you've been watching my channel at all in the last few months, you know that the last thing I need to be doing right now is getting more inventory. So that's why I went and ordered this DIY denim rescue box. <laughs> if you want to see what's inside, stay tuned. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck. Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park and I am a part-time reseller on platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Kitizen, which basically means that when I have the time outside of my full-time job and being married with two kids and all the other stuff that I have going on in my life, I like to find clothes at the cheapest cost possible. So typically at thrift stores, consignment stores, places like that, um, or sometimes thread up. And I will flip them on the platforms that I mentioned earlier for as much money as I can. So if you didn't know, ThreadUp has these things called rescue boxes. They typically contain pieces that either were sent to them by those hoping to consign with ThreadUp and you know just didn't meet their requirements and whoever sent them in also didn't pay for return shipping back to them of the items that weren't accepted by ThreadUp. Sometimes they consist of items that ThreadUp did take, they did accept, but they didn't sell within the time frame that ThreadUp gave them to sell on their website and then again you know whoever sent them in didn't reclaim their items um you know these pieces could be from a number of places so what I ordered was the DIY denim box. And the reason I got it is because I did have some credit. I get credit from ThreadUp if people use my referral code. So if you're brand new to ThreadUp and you wanted to try it out, you wanted to try shopping there or even getting a rescue box of your own, I will have a link down below. And I believe if you use it right now, you can actually earn $20 to use as credit. And I also get $20 of credit. And that's what I use to get these boxes. So that's really the only reason I got this box is because I had credit. I don't really need the inventory but since I had the credit I was like let's just you know try another rescue box I do enjoy them I'll actually leave a link to a playlist of just thread of rescue box openings if you want to see a bunch of some other ones I have gotten a DIY denim box before and I actually really enjoyed it I got some really good stuff in there and I definitely already made my money back on it and then some I've also gotten the shoe box and that one was really great and most recently I got a men's box and that one was pretty good too I haven't listed any of the stuff yet but it was a good box so i'm excited to see what is in here if as i am unboxing it you see anything that you would be interested in then definitely feel free to shoot me an email i do have my email address listed in the description below and you can reach out to me we can work out a deal that would be much better than if i were to list these on poshmark and sell them on poshmark then we don't have to deal with any of the platform fees or anything like that and i'll work out the best price with you so we're gonna go ahead and get into this. As you can see, I'm gonna try not to show my address, but it is still sealed. So you're gonna be seeing everything in real time with me, see my actual reaction to things. And just so you know too, I am not an expert on all of the brands of the world. And so there might be some things that I get and I'll be like, ooh, I don't, I don't really know what that is or I don't know what I'm supposed to make of that. So um, I'll be really honest with you about some of these I might actually just send right back into ThreadUp. I don't know. So we'll talk through every piece as we pull it out. So I'm super excited. Let's get into it. All right, the box is open. Let's see what's inside. Um, let's see, I don't remember how many pounds this was. So let's see what it says. This was a mixed size 30 pound DIY denim box. It was really heavy and it was $48. So I believe they're out of these at the moment. Um, but if you, you know, are interested and you feel like you want to give something like this a shot, then the next time that these boxes are available on thread up, you'll know from my experience, if you want to gamble on this type of box or not. So let's get into it. If you're excited to see what I got, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you are brand new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe because I do unboxings like this every once in a while. I also do weekly what sold videos, thrift hauls from, you know, my favorite consignment stores and thrift stores. So let's just dive right in, shall we? All right. Um, right on top here, we have a pair of, oh no. Okay. It's a skirt. This is banana Republic. It might be Banana Republic Factory, let's see. I knew that it was Banana Republic because that's what it said on the buttons. This is, this is a pretty old piece, it's from 2004. And I'm actually not seeing anything that says Banana Republic like on the inside. So I have a feeling, oh, oh it says it right here. It says Banana Republic, 
right there, but the size tag has been ripped off. So I bet that ThreadUp actually didn't even accept this in the first place because they do not accept things. Sorry, my hair is like kind of wonky right there. But Banana Republic does not sell things if the um, size tag isn't on there. So I will have to like measure this, but it's basically just a denim skirt, very classic. Um, it is, I would say, a bigger size. I'm gonna have to see what. It also has some like animal fur all over it, so it will also require um, a good lint rolling, a good wash, all that kind of stuff. It kind of smells, I don't know. But yeah, 99% cotton, 1% spandex. So there is that. I will obviously just list that myself because ThreadUp won't take it anyway because like I said, the size tag has been ripped out. I'll probably price that around like $15, $20 and see what happens. This is Massimo. Massimo is just a brand sold at Target. This is a size 11, so it's juniors. And they're a pair of like Bermuda shorts. Um, they're cuffed right there. Not the trendiest like thing in the world, style in the world, but um, probably list them for like $12 and see what happens. I don't know. I feel like there's probably one thing in this box that just smells really bad. And so everything just kind of smells, I don't know. Okay, this is the brand Cancun. Correct me if I'm wrong. I I want to say that they sell this brand at like Nordstrom Rack. Um, it's a pair of skinny jeans. They appear to be in good condition. I might look these up on ThreadUp and see how much they go for on there. I might just try to sell them myself too. I've never actually tried to sell this brand before. It, they were made in the U.S. They're a pretty small size. They're a size 23. That is a really small size. They do have a lot of stretch, so that's really nice. So I don't know. I, I'm not sure yet if I would try to sell these by myself or if I would send them right back into ThreadUp, but I would guesstimate I would list those around like $25 if I were to list them myself. Um, This is, oh, this is a pair of Joe's jeans. There are some flaws, so I cannot send them back into thread up. I don't think that they would accept them. It's a size 18. Size 18. Oh, maybe it's like a kid's 18 because there, I don't think this is like a woman's 18. So yeah, a few flaws. For one, there is some puckering at the crotch. I feel like Joe's jeans, Paige jeans, they all get kind of this like pulling right there. So on the back, I thought that there was a little hole, but there's also these like streaks right here. I don't really know what that is. There is this rip right here. I don't know if that was intentional or not, like if that was manufactured or if it just got ripped, you know, at some point in its lifetime. They're like a really light wash and they're even lighter kind of throughout the center. And you can see... I don't know what's going on here. There's some like marks down here too. So they're not like in the best shape. I'll probably list them for like 18 to $20 on Poshmark and see what happens. I'm not gonna send these in though because I don't think that ThreadUp will accept them. And I, I don't know, I feel like they're like a size 18, like boys or like girls. They're definitely not women's, I'm fairly certain. This is Express. Um, these are a much darker wash. These are a size zero. They're the super skinny mid-rise. So a lot of like smaller sizes. So like I said, they are a dark wash. They appear to be like a low to mid-rise. Um, really nice like classic jeans. I don't really see anything wrong with them. I might send them in to thread up. We'll see. But if I were to list them in my Poshmark closet, I'd probably list them for $25. I don't have that much luck selling Express jeans. I feel like they are somewhat well known for them, but I just, yeah, I don't have a lot of um, luck. Here's another pair of Express jeans. I think these are the same size. I think they're from the same person. These are also size zero regular. They're a skinny mid-rise. They're um, a little bit more of like a medium wash. Again, just skinny. I don't know. It's like maybe I will just kind of experiment and send one pair into thread up and keep one for myself and just see how they do. Is there a flaw down here? Mm, yeah, there's like, you can see, there's like the beginning of a rip or something. It's kind of pulled right there. Uh, and there's like more here. So this one I'll definitely keep and probably just list it for like 18 or something. Here's the back. Mm, the pockets are kind of cool. I like that little stitching detail right there. So yeah, these I will definitely keep and just list for like $18. This box has not been amazing so far, but that's how my last one was too. In my last DIY box from ThreadUp, 
I actually got some like frame. Okay, so here we're already, this is a little bit more promising. This is a pair of Big Star jeans, again, size 24. This is supposed to be like a mixed size box. And right now, almost everything that I've gotten is like basically in the same size. It's either like zero or 23 or 24. Um, so that's a little alarming. Hopefully there's something in here that I like because that is actually my size. Um, and it's called the Live Skinny Jean. So Big Star, I believe this brand is sold at like Buckle. Um, so it's pretty similar to like Miss Me and um, Silver. I don't think that they're quite as popular as they used to be, but I think I could still list them for like $30, $35 and see what happens. Okay, these are a pair of H&M jeans. Um, it says Divided, which is kind of like not a sub brand of H&M, but divided is something that's carried at H&M. This is a size six, so the size is different. The brand is whatever, but um, oh, they're kind of cool though. They have like the button fly and they kind of have like a mom jean feel, which is cool. They look like they're kind of baggy. Um, so they look like, yeah, just kind of like a more relaxed mom jean. They do look like they're pretty high rise. And there is some distressing, as you can see, like right there. You can see it on the back pocket. So I don't know, they're they're not bad. I feel like they're at least a little bit more trendy in some ways, but um, just nice and relaxed, nice and easy. So I could probably list those for like $20 on Poshmark. I would not send an H&M to thread up. This is a pair of Hollister jeans. I actually did just sell a pair of Hollister jeans today, but for like $10. So it's not like it's my favorite brand in the world. This is a size 32 by 30. So I wonder if, okay, no, I was gonna say, I wonder if these are men's jeans, but these are the high rise super skinny with the Hollister classic stretch. Um, okay, so these are a little bit bigger of a size, which is nice. Um, like the junior sizing on this is a size 15. They do have the busted knees or they're like distressed at the knees. These might actually do okay. You know, they're a little bit bigger in size. They are distressed. They're a nice classic dark wash. I'll probably list these for $25 on Poshmark. And I do like the fact that I've finally gotten something that's a little bit bigger in size. So, and they seem to be in really good shape. Like the crotch part looks great. Yeah, um, a couple of things about jeans. You obviously wanna check the crotch. You wanna check on the inside of the jeans for the crotch too. You also wanna check the hems and just see if there's a lot of like, um, you know, drag or just like wear on the bottom. Like sometimes people like me, I'm really short and I will step on the back of my jeans a lot. So you wanna check for that. Um, you wanna also sometimes check, like put your hands in the pockets because I have had times where, you know, someone will tell me that they got a pair of jeans from me or something and they'll put their hands in the pocket only to realize that there's a hole. So, you know, if you are able to, you know, just put your hands in all the pockets, make sure that there are no holes or even money in there. You never know what you might find in jeans, but those are some of the checkpoints you wanna do when it comes to pants and jeans. This is a pair of American Eagle Tom Girl jeans. They're a size two, so we're kind of back to the smaller sizing. These have the button fly as well. These are a very distressed. <laughs> like, I'm fairly certain these did not get sold this way and they got much more distressed as time went on. Like, this is just one huge gaping hole. Um, so that's interesting. They're very, very light wash. And yeah, probably list them though for like $25. American Eagle can do well. And I feel like this level of distressed jeans is not as trendy anymore as it used to be, but there are still some that, you know, like that sort of thing. This is again, Massimo, which is Target high rise skinny jeans. These are a size four or a size 27. They're in this like mauve color. Um, yeah, I mean, this is actually like a pretty, oh, they've got like a raw hem. This is actually a pretty good color for fall. I just feel like in general though, color denim is not super in. But, I mean, who knows? I'll probably list these around $18 and see what happens with them. But Massimo is not really a brand that I would send in to thread up because I imagine you would make like, I don't know, like I imagine you'd make $4 on them, if that, if they sold. Okay, so in my last thread up box, I also got a denim jacket or two. So here's another one. This one smells a little weird. This is a um, denim jacket from Forever 21. It is a size small and it's cropped. This is what it looks like. There's like, yeah, 
there's like not i don't know if it's really where oh well, yeah it is where like this part right here you can see the stitching is coming undone at the sleeve um i mean it's been worn right so there's um like a hood and it looks like you can take the hood off if you want you can button it off that's kind of nice but yeah it has an interesting scent to it <laughs> But yeah, so it is a size small, probably a set for like $15, $20. Um, this is Wild Fable. Wild Fable is also a brand sold at Target. And I'm just like studying this because look at, look at this. Like, why is it all ripped up back there? Um, I'm not really sure what's going on here. This is the high rise mom jean. I'm just like looking for a size. And I feel like there was a size, but that is... The reason why, sorry, I have low battery. I feel like that's why this business is happening. I feel like the size was ripped out, which is pretty frustrating, but I can just take measurements and see what's up that way. Um, so yeah, a much lighter wash jean. There is definitely some distressed detailing, as you can see there. Again, with like the more relaxed, almost like baggy fit, which I think is honestly more comfortable than like skinny jeans, jeggings, things like that um yeah so that's what's going on there some distressed detail again probably list for like 15 20 dollars um i'm not super impressed by any of the brands i've gotten thus far probably the best brands that i've seen are the joe's and the big star this is unina this is a size one super high rise stacked waist i've never heard of that phrase um and i think the style name is called sky if I'm not mistaken, Unina, I found this before and I feel like Jess from JS Thurston Flips, she like messaged me and told me where this is from. And I feel like it's from like Lulu's or something like that. I, I'll look it up and I'll put some information here. But yeah, they're basically like really tiny jeans. What size did I say they are? Size one? Holy cow. So maybe stacked waist means like this business right here, which is kind of interesting um definitely high rise and they are like a skinny pant skinny jeans with again a raw hem they're kind of cute they're really teeny tiny and i'll probably list them for like around 25 dollars and see how they do um more of like a juniors brand obviously with the sizing being in the odd numbers this is a pair of kids jeans these are wranglers they have like the adjustable waist on the inside this is so like you know kids are all different sizes but they don't really and, and like as kids get older especially for like boys i believe they have like size 8 h which means like husky or you know stuff like that but even at a younger age like there are some kids that are just bigger or smaller than others and so for some kids you have to kind of let this out or you have to pull it in if you've got a skinnier kid so that's why the adjustable waist is there but these are a pair of wrangler jeans and they're i mean they're pretty cute they're just like really baggy i'm trying to find the size and i feel like with the adjustable waist it's really hard to tell the size so i feel like i'll have to measure the inseam and go from there so i don't know if i had to guess i would say like the length is what's throwing me off they're so short but i want to say like a three or four but i don't know okay that i don't even know what i can do with that i don't even know if i can sell that this is a pair of H and M again. It's divided. This is a size twenty eight. They are a pair of gray jeans. They appear to be skinny jeans. They have that busted knee right there, as you can see. Both knees are busted, uh, which you know I think this is a great look, except for this weird like bleach spot right here. <laughs> Do you see that little number? So it like. I feel like you have to just take bleach to the whole pair of jeans now because it's weird that it's only in that one spot. And I feel like you have to spread the wealth all over. So, I don't know, that's a pretty big flaw. I, I've never really tried bleaching anything before. Maybe this would be a first fun project to do that with. But yeah, those I'd probably list for like $20. This is a pair of Not Your Daughter's jeans. And I've never seen this label before it looks to be newer but i'm not sure like i've seen a few different iterations of this label but that one is brand new to me i've never seen that so this is a size 24 so this is our first like plus size pair of jeans they appear to be high rise and they are like this cropped 
um, not Bermuda short. I don't think that they're Bermudas. I think that they're too long. I think that they'll come past the knees. They do have this like button detail. I might actually send these into thread up because plus size for me has been doing so well on thread up. Like that's the majority of the stuff that has been selling for me. So I think that I'll actually send these back in because they appear to be in good shape and hopefully, you know, sell those and make some money back on thread up, which would be really funny because that's where I source them from. This is J brand. J brand is actually a really good brand of denim. It retails for a ton. It doesn't really resell for that much. Ugh, good Lord. But look at the puckering. <laughs> that is the craziest. Okay. That is like the craziest puckering I've ever seen on a pair of jeans. <laughs> That's insane. Otherwise, these would be kind of cool. They're kind of like that coated denim, if you can tell. They're black, um, but they've got this cool, almost like metallic finish. And then they've got this panel here of just pure elastic. They're also, I think, a bigger size. Let's see. These are called the Mama J. And I don't know, they don't have a size. Why don't any of you guys have a size? That's infuriating. Do you not know how infuriating? Oh wait, size, size 28. There's, there's no way. Okay, so this is a size 28. It's like low rise and just like the worst puckering ever. Now I will say this, on regular jeans, I sold a pair of um, page jeans to someone with pretty bad puckering and I made sure she knew. I was like, hey, I just wanna make sure before you buy these that you know that there's puckering in them because I don't want you to be disappointed. And she was like, no, it's fine. Sorry, this piece of hair right here, this is bothering me. But she was like, no, that's fine. I feel like when I put them on, you won't be able to see. And when she got it, she wrote me a really nice um, love note and she was like, yeah, you can't even see them on. So like, this is what it looks like now. When you wear it, I assume it kind of pulls a little bit, so it's a lot harder to see. But man, I feel like on a fabric like this and in black, it's just so much more obvious. So I don't even know if I would try to sell them. There's also puckering like in the butt. I may just like list them out to auction on eBay for like $1.99, make sure that they know that that flaw is there. But that was intense. I've never seen puckering that bad before in my life. Okay, this is Pilcro and the Letter Press. These don't feel amazing. <laughs> they feel like they've been washed a ton. Pilcro and the Letterpress is um, an anthropology brand. This is what it looks like. And these are a size 26. I'm also scared because they're white. So I'm just like waiting to see some huge stain. Um, they're skinny jeans and they have this interesting lace up detail at the bottom. I mean, I don't see any stains yet. The lighting is also just like a little bit wonky. I also think though that um, I just feel like they've been washed a lot. So they have that really starchy feeling, if that makes sense. But I'm not seeing any stains. So I could probably sell it. I, I feel like they just, they just feel a little dingy to me. That's the only thing. And this is, I don't know, that's a little weird, but I might list them around like 25. Um, Pilcro used to do really well for me. It doesn't really move that quickly for me anymore, but we'll see what happens. I bet these are Miss Me's. Shall we find out together? Uh, they are. <laughs> Here's the Miss Me tag. It's a size 26. They are a bootcut jean. You can usually tell that something is missy by how blinged out the back pockets are. And a lot of times it's frustrating because they are so blinged out, but there's a lot of flaws because of the fact that they're so blinged out. So on this pocket, for example, all of the rhinestones are there, but there's all this like embroidery between the rhinestones. And if you look really carefully, you can see that a lot of the stitching is coming undone. That's the kind of flaw you get, I feel like on Miss Me jeans, just because, you know, you're like sitting on the pockets and it's really easy for them to get caught on stuff. So you can see it here too. There's just a lot of like flaws kind of in the embroidery. Um, I will not send these back into thread up. I'll just try to sell them myself. And I'll probably list them still though for like, oh, oh, and there's that little number right there. So the, oh, and on this side. So the value went down drastically probably list them out to auction <laughs> on eBay and see if someone wants to turn them into like shorts or something. 
because that's that's pretty unfortunate. I feel like what happened at the bottom was someone just folded them, like cuffed them, and then just kept stepping on the same spot on the back over and over again with their shoes, and then it created a giant hole. All right, let's let's keep going, shall we? Okay, this is David Kahn. Um, I don't remember where this is from. I want to say it's from like a department store. It's not anything exciting. This is a size 26. And these are the nickel, or sorry, Nikki ankle jean. Super dark wash, pretty much like a low rise jean. There is a little bit of that puckering detail as you can see there. Not what you want to see in a pair of jeans. Um, pretty little. They feel really lightweight too, especially right after holding those Miss Me's. Miss Me jeans are always so expensive, like always at least a pound and like eight ounces or something. It's all those like rhinestones and stuff. And yeah, there's just so much going on with Miss Me jeans always. So these feel really light in comparison. I, I probably would just list those for like $20. Um, this is a pair of old Navy Rockstar jeans. They are a mid-rise. They are a size 14. I've heard that the Old Navy Rockstar jeans can do really well, so I'm actually excited to have gotten a pair and to try them out for myself. I will try selling them myself instead of sending them into ThreadUp. There is some distressed detailing, as you can see. Um, I'm going to have to look up how much I can get for these, but I'll probably list them around $20. I also like the fact that they are a size 14, so that's exciting. A lot of people swear by Old Navy jeans, you know, and it's one of those things that even though it's a mall brand, um, and the crotch looks great. Sometimes, you know, there, you can see a lot of like pilling and stuff in the crotch. But the great thing about mall brands like Old Navy is that people know exactly how these fit on them and there's no risk, you know? So if they know that they wear a size 14 in the Old Navy Rockstar jean, then they can buy that all day and know that it's gonna fit them perfectly because they've tried it before. Whereas, you know, people might be a little less willing to try out a new brand of jeans because they don't know if it's gonna fit them and they don't wanna shell out a ton of money to get jeans that may not fit them very well. So just throwing that out there. All right, next up we have what appears to be another, care, uh, another pair of kids jeans. These are genuine kids from Oshkosh. I believe this is sold or was sold at like Target. This is a size 3T, which is my son size, but I don't really care for this style of jean. Like they're just a little too loose. Like I prefer him to wear like skinnier jeans. There is some like staining as you can see. Um, I don't know. I don't even really know if it's worth selling. I might just put it through the wash. I bet that'll come out. And then I would list it for like $10. Um, so there is that. This, oh, okay. Interesting. This is Weekend by Max Mara, which Max Mara is an amazing brand. Weekend is like a diffusion line of Max Mara. Um, I've never found Max Mara or even Weekend at Max Mara. So that's actually really exciting. This is a skinny jean with stretch in it. And they are a size, dun, 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 they're size two. They're in this like bright coral color. I don't know. They look like they've been well loved. <laughs> so I do think that they're a little bit more of mm, probably mid-rise. Like they kind of look like they're, yeah, I think they're more of a mid-rise. They're really lightweight. I don't even really, well, I guess they are jeans, but they're really, really lightweight. I don't know. I just feel like they've been worn a lot. They've gone through the wash quite a few times. And I don't know, like with it being such a cool brand, I wish it, it was better feeling, if that makes sense. I'm trying to see what they're made out of because like I said, they're so lightweight compared to most jeans that I've dealt with. So they're 96% cotton, 4% elastane, which is like what's giving it the stretch. So I don't know. And I don't know how to price something like this. Um, there is some stitching coming undone on the back pocket, as you can see right there. I don't think it's like a huge deal. I will probably just sell these myself. I don't even really see ThreadUp accepting these. Um, so I don't know how to price those. I have to look it up. I'll look it up and put some information right here. But they're not in like the best condition. Still, you know, a cool brand. I mean, I'm happy to try that brand out. This is, I believe, the brand Arden B. Um, Arden B, I don't know if it still is um, a mall brand or not. It used to be back in the day. This is a size 27 and they are this interesting, 
Oh, it's coming off so metallic-y on the camera, but oh. <laughs> So they are kind of like this flare jean in this like, I mean, look at that. Look at this waist too. Like that is so 90s, I feel like. Um, Very interesting. I feel like these are vintage, but yeah. Yeah, I, I don't really have the words, guys. I don't really know how to price these. They're just very interesting. This is why, okay, let's let's talk about this really quick. So Poshmark came out with this video feature. It's kind of like Instagram stories, right? What I don't understand about it, I wish, like when, when they first said that they were going to do a video feature on Poshmark, I thought they meant that you could upload a video per listing so that if you wanted to show the metallic sheen of something like this, you can't show the metallic sheen of a pair of pants like this in a picture, like in a still, like bam, right? Like you have to do this in a video for you to get the full effect and for you to see what that looks like. And I could see a video for each listing being so helpful. I, that's not what they're utilizing. That's not why they created this video thing. It's literally just kind of like a story for you to go on and be like, I got a bunch of stuff in, like check out my closet or for you to talk about a sale or something. That's not helpful to me. <laughs> like, I don't care about that. And I don't care to watch anyone else's, you know, videos either that anyone is making on Poshmark. I, I want to see it utilized in this way. Like within the listing, you can upload a video to show more details on a piece or maybe even just to talk about each piece a little bit more, maybe to like really show like what the flaws are so that people are clear. I don't know, but what they're trying to do with their videos, that's not it. I, yeah, I'm not really here for that. So that was interesting. We don't have a whole lot left. I'm not loving this box. So I hope this gets better real fast, but it's not going to with these. The, the brand is Robin's Jean. Okay. Oh my God. Let me just show you first. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's turn it around because it gets better. Let me do this in slow mo. Let's look. If I had a video feature on Poshmark to show these jeans, this is exactly what I would do. says Robin's jeans because that's that's where you need to see that with the angel's wings one wing on each cheek yeah yeah mm. I am I am speechless I'm just speechless um these are a size 26 uh they are okay so it says Robin's Jean, real American jeans designed by Robin Christian, I think, in the city of angels made in the USA. Yeah, I just, so if you want these, these one of a kind jeans with this little number at the bottom, you know where to find me, okay? Okay, I, I have, mm, we, we're gonna move on. All right, next up. Next up we have something a little bit more normal. This is Banana Republic. This is a size 24. These are the skinny ankle jeans. I actually might just keep these for myself. They are a nice dark wash. They're a little bit more of a high rise. Eh, no, they're still like a medium rise. I would list these for like $25, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try them on first and see how they look because one can never have too many pairs of jeans that fit them nicely. This is another pair of Old Navy Rockstar jeans. These are in a size six long. These have some wonderful puckering in the front crotch. So I'll probably just list these out to auction on eBay and maybe list them on Poshmark for like $10 or something. But there are those. Let's see, we've got a couple more things. These are also like super lightweight. Um, this tag is falling apart. Oh, okay. This is a pair of current Elliott jeans. They're also a size 24. So depending on the style, I might try them on. Dear God, 
the puckering. Can you see it? Can you see it? These also just like don't really feel like denim. They're so lightweight, but they're in this gray color. They're just like skinny jeans. Yeah, I don't know. This is a pretty disappointing box so far, guys. I'm not gonna lie. They're called the legging. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe I'll try it on and maybe, you know, like the girl said about the page jeans, maybe the puckering isn't that bad. And I do feel like they would be comfy, but I don't know, like you might not be able to see it on camera. It might not be picking it up very well, but it's pretty bad. Like the puckering is pretty bad, but I will give this a shot. I also think that I'm kidding myself. Like I feel like in quarantine, I have gained a lot of weight and I'm not like, I haven't come to terms with it. So I keep saying like, yeah, I could wear a size 24 or a size zero, but like I actually feel like I can't really anymore. So I think those will be the proof that I need of that. Okay, these are a, pa these are a pair of page jeans, as you can see. Like how much do you wanna bet right now that there's an insane amount of puckering at the crotch? Let's, let's see, moment of truth. You'll find out before I do. Gosh, oh my God, it, oh my goodness. Do you see like how much it is? <laughs> so it's like here, it's here all the way through there. It's here, it's everywhere. It's the whole front. That's bad, my goodness. These are size 26, they're the Skyline Skinny. Yeah, I don't know what it is about page jeans. It's just like, I don't know how many wears you get out of them before they turn into this, but I personally would never buy a pair of page jeans brand new because I know that this is eventually what they're gonna look like. Even on the back, look at this. This is the back. That is rough. This is the pocket. That's, that's horrific. Um, so these are probably just, you know, an eBay auction item as well. There are two pairs of jeans left in here, guys. Let's, okay. Well, our second to last pair is another pair of Rockstar jeans from Old Navy. These are a size 12, and they also got some puckering issues. Look at that. Um, can you tell? Yeah, you can tell. That's pretty rough. These are like a faded black color. They're um, like a mid-rise, and did it say 12 long? Okay, 12 regular, because they seem kind of short, but that's what they look like. So I'll probably, you know, send those out to auction on eBay. Last but not least, let's see what we got here. Okay, I've never heard of this. Oh, yes, I have. Okay, so I was looking at the wrong thing. So this is a pair of Lucky Brand jeans. These are a size 12, which is a little bit bigger of a size. These are the Brooke Legging jeans. You look before I do. That was the front. Oh, dear God. They should, they should have just taken a marker and just written like pucker jeans across. Like, oh my gosh, literally the majority of the jeans in here. Now I will say this. Well, let me show you the rest of the jean first. I will say this about how they market this particular rescue box. So it's called the DIY denim rescue box. And when they say DIY, what they mean by that literally is that you can take it and like do DIY projects with them. Like they're trying to tell you, hey, there are some flaws. So it's not, I shouldn't be that surprised that there are this many flawed pairs of jeans in this box because their intention in calling it that is saying like you could rip them apart or you could turn them into shorts or you could like, you know, whatever. Um, I guess I'm a little shocked because my last box was pretty good. Like I did not get this many flawed items for sure. Like this is insane. Um, and I feel like I've seen other people get some pretty decent boxes because I would say, oh my gosh, like I just, <laughs> I just kind of like accidentally felt the inside, like the inner legs of this pair of jeans. Do you see how pilled, like these are destroyed. These I can't even, I don't even think I could auction them off. These are the Lucky Brand jeans. These are awful. Uh, like to the point that, look at this. Like the stitching is, um, can you see that? It's literally coming undone in the middle. That's, that's in between the legs. So I, I get it. Like I wasn't expecting pristine jeans 
like I said, my last box was actually really good. I got a pair of like frame jeans. I got some denim jackets. I got like a really cool um, Levi's jacket. So I got some really great stuff. Um, this is nowhere near as good. I paid $48, is that right? I paid $48 for this box. I still think that I could make my money back. I still think I'll, you know, even double, possibly triple my initial investment. Here's the thing, it, it won't be fun. Like, I'm not really excited about listing the majority of the pieces in this box. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. Um, the DIY boxes especially are always a risk and they're telling you right up front with the name that you can expect some of those pieces to be ruined. What is that, 31 for $48 and 30 pounds worth of DIY denim? Again, am I gonna make a killing off of this? No, am I gonna make some money? Absolutely, I will absolutely make my money back and then some. Will I have fun doing it? Only once I get to those Robin's, what, Robin's nest, Robin's jeans, whatever. <laughs> I don't even know if I can sell, like I, I feel like if I put those in my Poshmark closet, like people will not be able to take me seriously. I don't know what I'm gonna do about those. That was my haul. I would love to hear what you thought about it down in the comments below. I would love to hear too, like have you been picking up any of these thread up rescue boxes? And if so, which ones have you been picking up? Have you had more luck than me? And if you wanna see more thread up unboxings, like I said, I do have a playlist down below in the description. You can just click on that and binge watch some other ones. I think they're all better than this one. Like all of them, I got much better stuff than what I got in this box. So there's that spoiler for you. But if you enjoy this video and sharing in my pain with me, or if you just really like looking at puckered jeans, then please hit that like button. That's it for my video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.